Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to talk about the S&P 500, and I'm also going to speak a little bit again on the actual volatility and things that we have warned people with before the fact, not after the fact. So here we go. We're going to go right back up here. And this is a daily chart. And what we're going to do is take a look at that volatility on a daily level. So if we break below uh, 2043, these markets are going to sell down. And it would be another rapid daily sell that would happen in the market. So basically, when we take a look at the daily, let's just take a look and uh, see what we did right here. Because you know what? It's very important that all of these daily simple moving averages, the red line is a 20-day. The um, moving averages is where usually if they start to fall below them, we have a 10-day simple moving average in the blue line right here, our aqua line. The white line is a 50-day. We went down here below it. Now, listen, they managed to get this back above that uh, 2043 on this intraday level. They did break below it. And then, of course, right now, as we have clearly stated on several occasions, here we are in the S&P 2085 reversal. We said that from the very top of that S&P 52-week high, there's going to be a 20% correction. And, you know, when I said that we said that, well, if you don't believe it, it's right here. S&P 500 index, 20% correction. This was, uh, we put this out on 5.5. Today is 5.17. Daily movement averages, 50-day movement averages getting killed. Um, we're closing below it. The uh, 10, 40-day, and the 20-day. We're closing below it, the 10-day simple moving average at 20.59. And basically, we're not done. The volatility yesterday up moved and got slammed right back down. And we did make a lower low than what we had yesterday. And we made a lower low than here. And basically, we're testing over here where we had support. And they had a three-day pump and dump to the high with an immediate reversal and another reversal and another reversal. And guess what? Another lower low than what we had the other day. So here's how it works. That's going to be that support level. And we're going to continue to sell down. I have before us right now is a weekly chart. This blue line is a 10-week simple moving average on the S&P. This right here, that when we had put in what we referred to as that double bottom with this big short squeeze, and we can see it right here. And once we got to this point right there, that's where we started this one week, two week, three week, four weeks. And basically, uh, the S&P cannot break out, and it cannot even test um, its 52-week uh, high. It got close to it, but look at that blue line is a 10-week simple moving average. And so, when we start talking about weekly moving averages, um, we'll be here to update you because um, I will give you the weekly moving averages to all of our uh, traders around the world. So basically, when we start looking at the 100-week simple moving average, that's at 2029. When we start looking at the 50-week moving average, that's at 2024. When we start looking at the 10-week um, moving average, that's at 2059, right here. That's that line. That's that correction. Um, what will end up happening is, is that between the bull and the bear, um, the bull and the bear, and what will end up happening is, just like we came up off of the bottoms, we're going to test these moving averages. We will get a bounce. It will take a little while. But once all of these weekly moving averages get violated over the next you know, week or so, um, the S&P 500 is definitely in trouble. 
and that I am saying for sure. S&P 500, this is a put chart. And these contracts were down here at $15. And all of you people that have been trading uh, options, listen, man, you don't even have a, a, a put chart. I mean, come on, give me a break. Um, here, let me show you another one outside of that. Let's go back over here to the daily so that you can clearly understand um, what I'm talking about on the uh, S&P 2085 put option. All of you people love to trade. This is a big super trade right here. From $15, we went straight up. So a 10 contract is $15,000, and you're selling out up here at $40. Well, you do the math. Then it came right back down in that same 2085 put that was in the money, made another high up here, and that is the put option. And that is the put option that pays a significant amount of money, and that was on the 2085. I will also show you right here what the um, 2070 put had a $20 range today it was $9.80 so here's the low $8.85 there everybody this is super money and you know we make markets in the S&P 500 doesn't matter call side put side but these are humongous trades and you can get involved you know our turbo option trading dot com will get you just like that we're very excited you know we love sharing stuff with you because we do everything before the fact here's what the um 2060 put on the s p was today four dollars and eighty cents and it went to nineteen dollars and eighty cents do you realize if only 10 contracts you made fifteen thousand dollars why don't you go ahead and get with our TurboOptionTrading.com, 1,500 contracts traded, S&P 500 put options. Um, one of the other things that I'm going to show you also is that 2080 put, and I just showed the weekly charts now and the, and the daily charts. And here's what I'm going to tell you. These contracts were $12.90 over here, and they went to $35.90. That is super money. And when these things drop back down in the S&P 500 yesterday's rally, boy, we came back and we came running and running and running. And here's another one that I'm going to show people. I'm going to go over here to that 2050 and I'm going to put that up there. And you, you know, you option traders, listen, you can get here $2 and 50 lousy cents, 10 contracts, $2,500. $13,020 would have been over here, the value. Subtract the two, they were up 10.7. 30 contracts as well, over 30,000. And, you know, once again, everybody loves to trade options. You have not seen a 2050 put chart or call charts, but you know what? You need to ask yourself one thing. Why do you do what you do with no foundation? Here's the 2065 put. Here, again, the 2065, $7.20 with a huge move, 23.65. That's a $16. If you only had 10 contracts, we will put you in these trades. You will get these entries. You will get these exits. You will have the state-of-the-art um, call and put charts with inflated and deflated. And you, too, will become the master S&P 500 on the calls, on the puts, and making a tremendous amount of money, like super big money.